Yeah, Doug, after three and a half years, Neely Bendapudi is leaving the University of Louisville after accepting a position at Penn State University. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Neely Bendapudi, Penn State's 19th president, to the podium. Neely Bendapudi accepting her new position as president of Penn State University. Being president of this institution is a sacred trust, and it's truly the honor of a lifetime. Ben Deputy arriving at the University of Louisville at a time of turmoil after former President Jim Ramsey was forced out. Ben Deputy known since her arrival on campus for her accessibility. Every single student who comes to University of Louisville gets my cell phone number. Brian Knopp comes from a legacy UofL family. His dad Otto, a former football star for the Cardinals. We want UofL to be a, uh, uh, a fine academic institution as well as continue the sports le uh, legacy that we have. Knopp showing his love for the school with vintage Cardinal stickers going back to the day of coach Vince Gibson. But it's certainly disheartening that um, you know, that we have this lack of stability that we've had over the last several years. Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher acknowledging the tough tenure Ben Deputy had while at the helm of UofL. She arrived in difficult conditions to start with, you know, with uh, kind of turmoil in the athletic department and then uh, the protest or the pandemic hit and then the protest hit. Through trying times, Fisher says Ben Deputy kept her focus on important issues. One of the things that she'll be remembered for is how she stood up very strong for racial justice. Uh, for anti-racist uh, activities on behalf of the university, and I admire her greatly for that. A U of L spokesperson says Ben Deputy will remain in her role as president through the end of December. She could start at Penn State on or before July of next year. We are Penn State. Now, Mayor Greg Fisher. Mayor Greg Fisher says he's hopeful that Ben Deputy's replacement is like her, someone that works well with city leaders and acts as a bridge between the university and the metro. Doug? Well, Rachel, I reported here this morning uh, from a source at UofL that the trustees actually learned she was leaving from her on Monday. She tearfully told them after a lengthy meeting they'd been having about Vince Tyree. Jerry Abramson, who's on that board, has told us he has no interest in the job as president. So what can you tell us about the search process coming up? Well, it is likely going to be a lengthy one. Another name that many people are likely going to be tossing around is the outgoing Congressman John Yarmuth. We reached out to him to see if he had any interest. He said that he intends to finish out his term in Congress, but he didn't say whether he would or would not consider this position here as president. So we'll have to wait and see. The Board of Trustees is meeting next week to talk about who the interim president will be and also to start that search for Ben Deputy's replacement. For now, reporting live in Louisville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.